Hello. We're going to talk today about using CRC and checksum errors in the absence of an eye pattern. Our configuration today is using the WFM7120, which is connected to an antenna at the top of our building's roof. We're located on the second floor. As you can see, this unit, the WFM7120, is configured with an eye that allows us to also set up any kind of cable type and from there we can go to our STI measurements which is included in the eye and see that an approximate cable type a cable distance of 94 meters and it shows us some cable loss but no rise fall time go to the eye pattern which is virtually a blur we can see that it is not able to properly calculate those eye right those eye measurements those rise fall times just simply because it cannot find the, the rising edge and falling edge. I do have this signal being reclocked and passed on over to our second input. At this point, we do see a much cleaner eye. We are able to, and the unit is able to calculate those rise fall times. You can see here in the STI status showing zero meters, and it also shows those eye rise fall time measurements. When in the field, you do need a nice, uh, firm, objective measurement. That way one knows when they are on that edge of the digital cliff. That is where our video session display can come in. From the video session display, we are able to get, uh, be able to calculate our CRC errors and the checks on errors. This display right here does show that. We have currently on the reclock, we're not getting the errors, but when we switch over to the uh, the main signal drop that is on that digital cliff, we'll notice real quick the CRC errors are just climbing very quickly and those check some errors as well. This will tell us, this is a much cleaner way, easier way, ob objective way that uh, will allow, allow us to know that we are on that digital cliff. Uh, using these numbers with any kind of specific guidelines on what is an acceptable amount designated by your location uh, does remove the that subjective point of view of an eye and when you cannot see those rise fall times you're not able to get a, a clean measurement on what you're at because you can just it's much easier, much simpler for anybody to grab this and see real quick, yes, I am getting so many checks on errors that I am about to fall off. And any, any kind of stre undue stress on this signal will cause, cause us to fall. Yes, the eye is absolutely still needed. It's still needed, but generally its best use is when doing a comparison of two sources uh, at a very short distance. CRC and checksum errors is a great calculator on verifying that you are not about to fall off of that digital cliff.